Tomorrow marks one year since a deadly tornado outbreak killed 80 people in western Kentucky. That included 11 people in the community of Bremen in Muhlenberg County. You might remember in the days after the storm, there was a video that went viral of a man playing a gospel song on the piano in the wreckage of his home. Our LAX 18 chief photojournalist Brian Stahl met up with Jordan Byes to talk about his story of survival and see what's changed in the years since. Very active night of weather. We're expecting strong to severe storms here in the early morning hours. And right now the situation looks really dangerous in western Kentucky. The language of this one, though, was ominous. It was different than many of the earlier ones. It um, said, a life-threatening storm is in your immediate area. Seek shelter. And so we did. We went into the basement. The five of us were on our hands and knees with the mattress over our head, holding it in place. And uh, you could hear it you could hear it coming, then you could hear it when it was on top of you. Stepped up on the main landing, the main floor of the house, and it's raining on our heads. Now the roof is gone. Uh, you look up and see streak lightning, you know, in your living room. And um, it took me a second. I remember saying, my home is, our home is gone. But nothing compared with the loss of life for friends and neighbors that had lost loved ones. Um, it really minimized all of our um, uh, smaller problems and really put things in perspective. We had had several folks uh, there that morning, the next morning, uh, to help salvage what we could. Felt like I was walking around uh, in circles, being pretty useless, you know. I saw the piano in the corner, and it was my dream piano. So I sat down to play, and it was in remarkably good shape for what I had just been through. I guess she, she heard my playing and came out to see what was going on recorded. She said, I really think this is different and I think people will, will appreciate this. And so reluctantly I said, yeah, that'd be fine. You can post it. And in no time it had gained traction online. And um, I think it, you know, it was a private moment meant for me only captured uh, inadvertently, but it became a um, source of uh, a peace and perspective in an otherwise terrible time. So the storm was on f December the 10th of Friday, and on the following Friday the 17th, um, I was asked to play the Grand Ole Opry. You know, we'd had a pretty rough week. And so it was a great little escape to get to uh, live a lifelong dream, that's all, you know. When you pray his name. All across the world, folks There's reached out and, and wanted, you know, to offer their condolences, but also many of them wanted to, to give financial donations. We've created a fund through my church that we're going to construct um, community storm shelters with. And our goal too is to create an app for our county that would, on a map, place these shelters. Fear uh, was never a part of the equation for me. I was never afraid. I was never afraid for our lives or for the, the kids' lives. And um, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, but I think my faith is a direct, you know, is a direct um, culprit of, of being able to live a life of, of peace. And I think that maybe that video kind of spoke to folks and say, hey, you wait a second. You, you mean that even when life is wild and crazy and difficult for me, there can be moments of peace. Most folks on the night of December the 10th uh, weren't affected by the storm. They were all going through a storm. And I think um, that that video, if nothing else, said, hey, you know, this guy has had a rough day, uh, but he's okay. 
maybe I can be okay too. Buys recently shot a new video for the Grand Ole Opry, giving an update about the repairs still going on in Muhlenberg County and the healing of the community. He and his kids recently moved into his childhood home. They have plans to rebuild their home on their property, but Buy says he's not in any hurry and he wants people who really need a place to call their own to get an opportunity to rebuild first.